guys are not going to believe this. I was just sitting here minding my own business on a Sunday morning, evening, afternoon sometime, and I was being lazy, playing Minecraft, when all of a sudden, this stranger just moseyed on into my, into my game, and you're just not gonna believe it. You're just gonna have to keep watching to find out. Everything just started when, when the stranger appeared and it ended when he showed me his secret rainbow sky base. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest little camping site. What am I gonna do first? Am I gonna go fishing? Am I going to find a puppy? I feel like people find puppies at camping sites, right? And they name them like Hound, Fox and the Hound. You know, we could make some beans. People make beans at camping sites. What am I saying? Um, wait, make, you make cornbread. You don't really make beans. How do beans grow? Bean stalks, where's the giant? Guys, I have to make sure the giant isn't lurking around this corner because now I'm really nervous and I don't know what is about to, hey, um, hello? Who is this man? Hello. That's unfortunate. I fell through the floor. By the way, what are you doing here? This is a very high mountain and totally not a way to my secret sky base. I guess that you can help me. Let's go. Who is this man and why is he carrying like a feather object? Was that a feather? Also, how do you just disappear like that? I wish I could just go pfft. Steve, I guess even though you're a stranger, I'm going to follow you and that is against what you are supposed to do. Don't follow strangers. This is only because I am playing Minecraft. Don't do it in real life. What are you holding in your hand? We need to get to the other side of this wall. We need to cut the wood into planks and slabs. Take the ax, it might help you. You know what, Steve? It's just so convenient for you that you're able to just explode or puff. You know, you're just able to get out of here on your own. Just mosey on by. Also, what if I cut myself? This is a very scary object right here. It is, you do you see how fast this saw is just spinning on its own? I mean, it's going a 20,000 bajillion miles an hour here, guys. I mean, okay, well, I'm good at this part. I can just harvest some planks of wood. That's, that I'm good at. It's, it's, you know, that's not hard. I can just do this. We'll just stick to doing this the whole rest of the video. Da, 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 da. Is this how you make it work? Guys, I'm not having a ton of luck with this. Okay, woodcutter, fear my wrath. Oh, I sh don't do this at home. Oh, whoa. Whoa, so many clicks. That was not safe. Oh man, I needed some like, what are those called? Those metal suits. Armor, armor. I forgot the word for armor. I have 52 planks and some logs. What else was it I was supposed to get? Oh, it was down here, I think. Uh, right? The crafting bench. You are mine now, all mine. And you know what, I kinda want that. I kinda want the, it'll keep me warm. I can roast s'mores later. All of the logs are gone. I don't remember cutting down all the logs. Who is following me? Now I'm going to get a crafting table and craft something. Uh, oh, wait, what if Steve, Steve is over there, I see his name. He's on the other side of this wall, but how do I get to the other side? Hey, I can make a ladder. Okay, I'm going to make a ladder. Oh, I think I'm not supposed to do it like that. You guys. I think I need a ladder, but I think I have to make these smaller. I have to make the planks even smaller to make this work. So I have to jump on this saw right for me. I hope it's working, I don't know. Oh man, oh, I think it's working. We finally got it. Go team. That was a lot of work. We had to make a log to a plank to a slab to then a stick. That was some sticky work. Now it's time to make a ladder because we've got to see Steve. What if Steve leaves us? Hey. I got three ladders. Is that enough? Guys, I don't know. Let's make a couple more just in case. I don't know how tall this wall is. Let's get some more ladders. I'm just gonna try. Let's try. Let's see how tall this wall is. <gasps> He's gonna make it. Oh, I made it! Now you need to craft the bubble tonator. To fuel the bubble tonator, you need bubbles. Well, yeah. To get them, you need to craft soap and drop it in the boiling water. I have never made a bubble tonator. I don't know what a bubble tonator is, but I feel like things that I need are in here. Let me clear this up. This is getting a little messy. I have too many sticks, too many chickens. Okay, what is in the chest? 
I was hoping the bubble tonator was just in there and it was a surprise and Steve was just, you know, you know, I thought Steve was just pranking me and he had already made it and it was just like, haha, here is my base that I'm going to show you. Surprise, it's in the chest. But no, he's making me work. Steve, I'm going to be the best crafter you've ever seen. So we have a water bucket, gunpowder, oh, glass bottles, string, and an iron ingot. So I think we're gonna go for this first. Let's, you know, we need some boiling water. I feel like, you know, uh, I think. So I'm gonna put water in here. That just feels like the right move. I've done that a lot in crafting, but I feel like in order to make the bubbling water, I took the campfire down there and I actually needed it. You guys, what did I tell you? Instead of s'mores, I'm gonna bake some water. I'm going to do this. There's the cauldron. We gotta place it on my campfire. Do do do, here's the campfire. Then you're gonna bake the water. Guys, I never thought I would put a cauldron over a campfire, but you know what? Steve is making this happen. Can I put the chicken on the fire? I'll put some chicken on the fire. Who would have thought? Oh, hey, what's this? The circles, fat. The circles were the fat and I just made this happen. Well, I guess while that's bubbling, I could do this part, right? <gasps> Guys, I am currently out of breath. I just had to run back over this big wall, down the ladder, then over the big wall, up the ladder to get the crafting bench. Guys, I had left it down there. Just, what was I thinking? It looks like in order to do it, I have to do a bucket, two iron ingots, the stick, and some string. I have all of that. So we'll do the bucket, two iron ingots, stick, which I have way too many of, I might add. Y'all can help yourself. Take some sticks and some string. A bubble tonator, whoa, that's super cool. Oh, and then I also need to make this thing, soap. <laughs> this thing, I've never heard of soap before. That's so foreign to me. So you do fat and then two gunpowders. Oh, <gasps> so I'm gonna just make three because I have enough ingredients to make three. Huzzah! I mean, I can't even imagine what else you could want from me. I have done it all. You guys, it's about to be bubble time, but I have a really bad aim. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, ah! Oh, there's bubbles. Do you see this? This is crazy. Bottles fast. Right click, right click, right click. Yay. They all have the fancy water. For now, do not enter the door on the left or you will be eaten by what? Come here and I will tell you what to do next. Where, wait, where'd he go? Oh man, I guess this is the door he was talking about. I really wanna see, but uh, okay, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna get eaten right now. Now you need to create some food. Here are some recipes. To grow meat, you need to plant the pig seeds and wait three stages of growth. The other spices have only two stages. So there's like pork and coal. There is a lot of brand of broccolis and spinaches and what's another vegetable that's green? I don't even know right now. Then there's another thing. How am I gonna do this? That's exactly what I need. You know, just plant a seed that turns into a pig. That's totally normal. And then, you know, here's some regular seeds. You know, I'm used to planting something that turns into, you know, a green leaf, not an animal. What kind of place is this, Steve? I guess first I should plant all of these seeds so they can grow. So we'll, you know, just plant some seeds. Um, guys, there's a pig. There's a pig currently growing. Ah, oh my goodness, this is weird. What is happening? I'm really freaked out. Is it ripe? Is it ready to be picked? Is it real? Is it a pig? Oh, okay, it was ready. We have a pork chop. That's very disturbing. Let's see if this is ready. Okay, we have, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't think we've planted this one yet. Let's plant it. Um, Let's go with this one. What's in here? <gasps> Cold. Hmm, let's look at my recipes. So, in order for something to happen, I need to put a pork chop over coal. I can do that easy, easy peasy. So one coal, one pork chop. Okay, so now we have to do the marination. So it looks like it's these three. So you do one, Two and three leaves makes marinate. So apparently marination is made out of leaves. The more you know. So now you take a marinate. Hey. Now I'm getting confused. I'm getting ahead of myself. 
You know why I'm getting ahead of myself? I have to cook it first. Silly me, you can't, you can't have it and not cook it. <sighs> I am just being a silly sausage. Yum, there we go. Now it's all cooked and it's time now to marinate the pork chop. Apparently I make songs about everything, but there we go, a marinated pork chop beef. I'm proud of myself. Now that I have this, the food, uh, it's time to carry it into the scary door where you can get eaten. Pray for me. Uh, here I go. Here goes nothing. It's time to not die. Hello? Ah! What is this thing? Um, I'm gonna leave now. Thank you. He's like kind of cute, but really creepy at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm gonna close the door. Bye. He gave me another star. Whoa. I have to show Steve. He's gonna be super proud of me. The last items are the anvil, golden apple, and power core. You need to trade with villagers to get golden apple and then drop an anvil on it. After that, you need to combine everything in the rainbow altar. I'll be waiting for you near it. Yet again, with the convenience that he can just poof and then be gone. Who am I going to speak to first? Squidward one, Squidward two, Squidward three. I know you are villagers, but I've decided to name you Squidward. I'll talk to you first. Hello. Oh, well. Ah, uh, what's this do? Oh, wait, I don't have things yet. There's a chest. <gasps> Look at all these amazing things in here. Let's take all of them. I can give him a music disc for two ender pearls. So now I have splash potion of leaping. Now let's see what this villager can give me. I have these. I think I have golden leggings. Let's see. Let's put them in my inventory. Wow, I got two golden ingots and a splash potion. This is crazy. Now what I'm gonna do with this Squidward? I guess the only option I have is the block of redstone and my potion of leaping. Oh, <gasps> now I have a rose bush. What is happening, you guys? So many things. Now I'm gonna go over to him. I mean, I can give him my record. Now I have two ender pearls. I also could give him my fish and two golds. I now have a golden apple. Does everyone see this? Right now, I have a golden apple. Things are happening because of Squidward. Okay, well now I need an anvil because apparently I have to drop an anvil on the apple. Do you have an anvil? <gasps> he does, but I have to have a bowl. I need a rope. How do I get a rope? A boat and three ender pearls. So you need these <gasps> or a lead. Is a lead a rope? I'm not sure. So then you need lead and the lime dye. Now I have three iron ingots. I'm gonna get my crafting table out. I think it could come in handy. How do you make a bowl? Maybe you simply do this like a regular bowl. <gasps> I was right! Oh my gosh! I just guessed. Okay. I mean, it literally is like a scoop, like a little bowl, and then it worked in the crafting bench. This has been a good day, and I even have a thing of bubbles. So now I have a bowl, and I have all of this iron, so let's go get this anvil. Yes! Huzzah! So it's time to place this golden beautiful apple. And you know what? I think, I think it needs to be squished. Huzzah! <gasps> Whoa, it is looking a little majestic now. It's like glowing, but also like smushed. But you know what? I take it. It's time to show Steve. <gasps> okay, yeah, I forgot. He's still up here. He didn't leave. He's still dancing up here. Doing things. Oh, and there's colored blocks. And now all the items come to play. You need to use the bubble tonator to move these colorful blocks by right clicking. Place them on the four sides of the altar to power it. Then drop on it nether star anvil golden apple to get rainbow shards to go to the mine above. Where's the bubble tonator? I need this. I'm gonna move. Ah! Uh, it yelled at me. Where's the altar? Huzzah! Yay! I've got one out of three, but I have to hurry. We have to hurry. I have to see what's happening. Right click. Da, 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 da. Oh, I need some water. I'm getting very thirsty. I'm running a lot. Oh, man. I'm nervous. What's gonna happen? Guys, where'd the block go? I unright clicked the block. I left it behind. I'm so sorry, blue block. How could I do that to you? Could I be so cruel? Now for the final block. Mr. Red Block. It's time to party. Do, do, do. Here you go. 
Oh my goodness. We have all four blocks. Now we just drop, what all do we drop? Well, you guys, I think I need a power core. So I might have to go back to Squidward. He does. Oh, okay, so I need to use this nether star and roses and I got a power core. Solid, let's go back. So now we have three out of the four items now in the enchantment. Now we just need rainbow shards. Can you stop dancing and holding a feather in front of your face and tell me where the rainbow shards are? Where does this go? Is, is that a rainbow shard? Is that it? Is this legal? Am I allowed to mine rainbow shard? I feel like I could get in trouble for this, but I'm gonna do it. Don't tell my mom. It is rainbow shard. Mine it a lot. I want multiple rainbow shards. How many am I supposed to have? Did he tell me? I'll say, I'll say 10. Just cause you know, you can never be too careful. You know, 10 is a solid number. Okay, let's go throw it. Oh, I deleted my stairwell. That was great. When you get too excited about the rainbow and you delete your stairs. That was great for you. Da, 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 da. Whoa, what just happened? Yes, finally we're done. Now all you have to do is assemble the cannon. Guys, the only time I've really dealt with cannons is during TNT Wars. I'm a little intimidated, but I'm really glad I already have nine rainbow shards. It's like I was prepared for this. Guess I'll just hike to the top and, oh, this is a super fancy cannon. I don't remember mine flashing rainbow colors. I'm a little jealous. This looks like an appropriate place for a power cord. Well, hey, it fit perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna put six rainbow shards here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna run up here, excuse me, Steve. So I'm up here with the cannon. I have the power core initiated with all the rainbow shards. Let's see what's going to happen. Three, two, one. Oh, what is going on? Ah! Welcome to the base. I made it to the base. Don't tell Preston, but I think this is by far the fanciest house I've ever seen. Look at this. This is like coats of armor and are these wigs or are these helmets? I can't tell if these are wigs or are they helmets. I'm not quite sure, but uh, what's in here? Oh, they're not stocked. I could put, you know, some pork chops in there apparently since I made them earlier. He has enchanted books. He has an alligator dragon head. He has a pig head growing in a plant because that's not weird at all. Well, this house is definitely amazing. Whose house am I going to find next? Or if I found this house, what if somebody finds my secret?